Hi, it's Shannon. I want to give everybody a rundown. I'm sure a lot of you saw my community post with the photographs of my um, daughter's home, and y'all sent love and prayers and and thank you. Um, Tuesday, I made a little video while I was waiting on Catherine to get out of high school. And by the time I got home, we pulled in the driveway. I got a phone call from uh, my daughter, Devin, who lives with my daughter, Kellister, uh, that the house was on fire. They probably live about 20 minutes away from me, I think. And I made a quick, you know, my daughter's house on fire, pray for me. And I was gone. Um, I got there. The, the house, what, what had happened was Devin had, had been sleeping downstairs. It's a split level home. Devin was asleep downstairs and she smelled smoke. And she texted her sister thinking her sister was upstairs. She goes, why does the house smell, um, smell like it's on fire? And my older daughter was not at home and said, I don't know. Please go look, you know. Devin opened her door from downstairs and um, there was already smoke way down there. She ran up the uh, two stair, you know, two flights of stairs, saw the kitchen on fire, um, ran back down, got her cat, got another cat, threw him in the car, um, ran back in to try to go get the other cats, and she couldn't. Um, it was because of the heat and the smoke, and um, but she, God bless her, man, kept you know, thinking she could get up there, but, um, anyway, so, uh, when I got there, Cal De my Devin is just absolutely inconsolable. She feels so badly because, uh, the cats, the three other cats, everybody in that house had a cat of their own. I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you saw the pictures of the house, it's a big, big house. It's not, you know, uh, but three of the cats didn't make it. And, she knew that her grand, her uh, nephews were going to be upset. Um, luckily, my grandsons were not there. It was time for them to come home from school, and their dad uh, picked them up. So thank God they weren't there. Uh, but anyway, and so they contained the fire to the kitchen. However, everything in the house was ruined. Um. It's just kind of one of those things where you see this happen and it's like you can't wrap your head around it. It's uh, Devin was in shock. She had inhaled a lot of superheated air trying to get in there. Um, once it was out, they were allowed to go in and get like things they could not replace. Unfortunately, all my you know all of their clothes are contaminated. Um, you know, Devin just kept. Kellister is stoic. Kellister is, um, she's just stoic. She, she, you know, she, the way she deals with things is not the way, you know, we deal with things. Talk about the rest of us. She was composed, you know, and I was composed as well. Devin was not. Um, so the kids went to their dads and have been spending the night there. Uh, the house is obviously cannot be, I mean, it's, it's, it's got to be redone. It all of it. It's got to be redone. Um, every room has got smoke damage. The whole top floor has got water damage, which has also gone down into the into the basement. So it's a total, you know, redo inside. Thankfully, the roof was not didn't sustain any damage. And I tell you what, I don't know how. Um, still don't know what caused it. Think it was a, an electrical plug in the um, kitchen. Uh, to the microwave. Still waiting here on that. Um, the fire investigator called the Red Cross for my daughter. And she, uh, this is the kind of kid I raised. She said, no, 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 no. Don't bother them. They have all those people down in Mississippi and Louisiana to worry about. I'll, I'll figure it out. She didn't want to. You know. Anyway. So they've got a place to stay. Um, they're going to be looking for a house uh, to rent. Her insurance is going to rent them a house until the repairs are made. She talked to a contractor today that she really trusts, which was 
50% of the thing because it's going to take six months to a year, they said, to rebuild it. It depended on the contractor. Um, the next day, Devin woke up with blisters on the bottom of her feet. Um, very sore. Still pretty much in shock. She's kind of just shut down a little bit. Um, the once, like I said, once it was out, the fire chief was talking. I told him, I said, can you please tell her that there's nothing she could have done to get the cats? And he, he said, you know, a fire doubles in heat every 47 seconds. And he said, now, if you y'all did see the pictures. If you go up the steps, you have the living room to the very right, and then you have the kitchen ahead of you a little over to the over to the right a little bit and then down the hall are my daughters and my grandson's rooms the cats were in my daughter's room my oldest daughters so he told her that all that you know the plastic and the floor and the walls and the in the um carpet turns to cyanide and that those cats never knew what hit them they you know because the smoke was already downstairs when my daughter woke up um, and she just kept worrying about the, you know, the boys, but we got, uh, Ryan, my, my middle, my middle grandson, we got hit, she got his out, his, uh, his cat fluffy. Um, anyway, she was going to go look for, at a house today that for rent, um, talk to the contractor today. Devin is doing better, feed her better. She, we, she doesn't even know how that happened. I mean, she did when I got there. She didn't have shoes on, and uh, DJ, my adopted son, went and got her some shoes. Um. So pretty much, they lost everything. I mean, you know, but the house can be fixed. That's fine. I really thought. Here's what I thought. Here's what's important to me. I did not when I when you get a call, mom, the house is on fire. And you driving for, you know, I, I didn't take me 20 minutes to get there. I can tell you that. It took me about, uh, probably under 10. Um, and I got there and I saw Devin is there and there's Kellister and the boys weren't there. And I could, I, you know, if this fire would have happened eight to 10 hours earlier or later, um, I would have lost all of them. I would have lost all of them. I almost lost Devin because she kept trying to go in. The, the, the fire chief told her, if you'd have gone in, got down that hallway, found the cats, and come back, that that you know that would take at least 47 seconds, and that fire would have been so hot, and you, she'd have been overcome by the cyanide and the smoke. I, I could have lost her. Um, and I didn't. Thank God. I'll replace everything in that house if I have to. Well, I have to. Well, we have to. But my girls and my boys are safe. I did get some uh, I did get some clips and <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying that. Clips and screenshots of people who had a problem with me asking people to pray for my children. Um, fuck you. That's what I gotta say there. Um, they're okay. They'll rebuild. It'll, it, you know, so that's what happened. Um, I hope I'm not leaving anything out. I don't think I am. If you watch nine minutes and 20 some seconds of this, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the prayers and good thoughts that are being sent our way. We need them. My girls need them. My boys need them. Um, and I guess just along the way, I'll have to document the progress of the new Chateau Day. I don't know. We'll have to name it now, too. I don't know. Because right now, it's the Casa de Mess. 
Uh, but anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for spending a little bit of time and listening to me. Thank you for caring. Um, thank you for asking if you could do stuff. There's really nothing. I mean, you know, it says one thing where, you know, where, <laughs> Everything needs to be done, but nothing that y'all can do. And I put up so much appreciate y'all asking. I really do. And I know you mean it. I know you mean it. Um, and for the rest of you, I feel for you. I feel for you. You don't have what I have. And you never will. And that's why you're upset. But we'll live to fight another day, guys. Um, I'm gonna try to get this, um, uh, you know, the, the murder mysteries done. I don't know if my boys will be coming over here or what, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And, um, I will see you very soon. And I love you all. Well, most of you and, uh, kiss, kiss.